increasing buoyant force presented by Uzeni Productions. In this activity, our goal is trying to make this object, a ball of clay, which normally, in water, when you place it in there, sinks right to the bottom. Our goal is trying to make that little thing called a ball of clay float by increasing its buoyant force. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to find the buoyant force of our just clump of clay using this little contraption right here. We got a two liter bottle with a little tube sticking out. And the way we're gonna find the buoyant force for this one is when I drop this in here, the water is gonna be displaced, it's gonna go up. And what this styrofoam cup is gonna do is it's gonna catch the water displaced. And then later, using this trusty little scale here, we're gonna weigh our water display and find a buoyant force. So here we go. Okay, now that the water is all done dripping out of there, we can take this and we can weigh it to find the buoyant force. Now, as you can see from right here, 74.28 grams is our buoyant force of that clay. Now, our next goal after we found the buoyant force of our clay was trying to figure out, hmm, what can we do to this clay to figure out how to increase its buoyant force? Now, after trying to do several different types of shapes, we later learned, bam, a bowl shape really, really worked. Because if you put it in water, voila. Now, another way we could find buoyant force not only can we use this contraption, but the simple thing is adding weight to it is going to do the job. So what I'm going to do now is add the weight until it finally sinks, and then we're going to use, again, our trusty buddy right here, our weight scale, to weigh out the stuff so we can find the buoyant force. All right. Okay, now that my cup sank, I can take this, I'm going to make sure I dry off everything so I don't get the weight of the water on here, and I can put it on my weight scale to see now it's new buoyant force. Look at that. 153.45 grams. We were successful. We were able to create something. Take the same exact clump of clay and turn that into a more buoyant force that's, that can float. Okay. Now that we figured out, hey, a bowl shape works that can increase the buoyant force, we're left with another challenge. Now how can we take this and make even more of a buoyant force? So we left out, had a challenge, tried a few shapes, and this is what we realized. We came up with something like this. What's the difference between the two? Well, this is now bigger. We think that making it bigger, all right, having more space inside for air, that's gonna create more buoyant force. Let's find out. Now that I got the bowl out of there, I've dry, made sure I dried all the pennies to make sure that there would be no water weight to it. I put it on the scale. And there you go, again, 200.24 grams. That tells you that our buoyant force increased. So we were successful in our job. So, in conclusion, we can say that to increase the buoyant force of our clay, all you have to do is first make a container, okay? Have it filled with air. And to increase the buoyant force even more than that, you gotta make it bigger. Make that container as big as possible, and there you go. You have just now increased the point for us. Thank you very much. This is Mr. Rosenny's production.